What have you learned, Barbara? Good morning, Allison. U.S. Uh, officials are telling us the preliminary findings are indicating the U.S. Navy was at fault in this collision that killed seven Navy sailors when they collided with a cargo ship. The preliminary findings are indicating that the U.S. Navy crew on the bridge failed to sound warnings. They knew the ship, the cargo ship was approaching, but they did nothing. They stayed on course. There was no warning until it was too late and they were unable to maneuver out of the way. Why? Why there was no warning, why they failed to understand the emergency that was right in front of their face is now the key question for investigators. There is a lot of concern on how this crew, if this is what proves to be the final uh, report on how a Navy ship could go to sea with such poor seamanship. A tragedy for the seven families that lost their loved ones when the birthing compartments below the waterline were ripped open and the ship flooded. But Navy officials are also saying this ship came dangerously close to sinking to having the entire crew lost. All righty. Anti-8 on the porch. Breaking news. Eh, I don't know if it's breaking. CNN's the only one that's reporting this. And, uh, I don't trust them. <coughs> because if this was real breaking news, I would think all the other major networks would be uh, repeating this. I got train noise, I got car noise. I love it. So anyway, you've already seen the video. Um, I beg the question with CNN and call them out as liars. Because if you notice at the end, she says, this may be the final. No, bullshit. This is the initial report that comes from the U.S. Navy and like I told you from the very beginning, and several of you have commented, being Navy veterans, and said the same thing. The Navy's going to find fault with the captain, the OD, the conning officer, whoever else, the CIC officer, they're going to find fault with the leadership on the USS Fitzgerald. Now, did they contact the captain and get him up to the bridge? No, I don't think so. They thought they had it all under control. So you got these four individuals that blew it. So the ships, so the ships in dry dock now. I don't have any updates on that. I talked to uh, Naval Surface Fleet, Surface Warriors, uh, yesterday, and they said they don't have any update other than they're supporting the Fitzgerald and the crew and the family members, which, duh. I think we all do that. But it's just like I told you. And it's just like all you commentators have commented. U.S. Navy ship screwed up. How long that theory is going to last because they still have the U.S. Coast Guard investigating. They still have the Japanese Coast Guard investigating. Eventually, probably in another week, maybe two more weeks, something will come out. But I just wanted to give you an update as to what I'm seeing and what I'm hearing. And I don't put full trust in this CNN report, since nobody else is reporting it. 
and we all know that CNN does nothing but a lot of fake news. And just like when I started this video out, you can hear the slant in the entire report from CNN. Because the, the broad said, oh, if this is, if this is going to be the final report, it's going to be on the U.S. Navy. It's the initial report. <coughs> if you've never been in the Navy, then you have no clue how this ship works. So, Pacifica, Mystique, whatever the fuck his name is, he's going to come out with some bullshit today and try to make it another conspiracy theory. Just like I told you, and a lot of my commentators have been telling you. If you don't read the comments, you'll never get it. But, it's an accident, the U.S. Navy is always going to blame itself, they're going to blame the captain, the O.D., the conning officer, and the C.I.C. watch officer. Oh, well, the lookouts didn't report it, uh, all the sensors and everything on the ship didn't report it. Oh, they were traveling high speed to get into position to shoot down a North Korean missile. Really? Really? Those of us that have served and been in situations like this, we all know better. So don't buy into this CNN hype and the conspiracy theorists on YouTube. Don't buy into their dumb shit. They don't know. They've never been there. I, for one, have been there. And a lot of my commentators have been there. They've spoken up about them being involved in collisions, just like I was involved in a collision at sea. If you've never been there, never experienced it, Shut the fuck up. Alright, 58 on the porch. We're, uh, we're about 100 degrees here in uh, western Iowa. So I'm going to get my ass back in the air conditioning. Talk to you later.